Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is episode two of Vlogmas, week two. Um, today, as you can tell, I'm a little bit blonder. I've actually been to the hairdressers this morning and I've gone a little bit blonder. Um, it was just my regular appointment, but I just wanted it brighter. So we've definitely brightened it up. And yeah, I want to keep on top of this now and keep it nice and blonde. But I like it. I've not had it cut or anything. It's just the color, but I'm a big fan. So yeah, it still smells very like hairdresser. It's got like all the products and stuff on it. Yeah, I like it. Um, I've just unboxed the Look Fantastic Beauty Box for December. Um, so that will already be on my channel when you see this video. So if you've not watched that, feel free to go and watch it. You'll be pleased to know, well, if you watched Vlogmas week one, my Christmas tree has been dispatched. So even though it's like the 6th of December and I still don't have a tree up, um, I'm hoping it's only gonna be a couple of days. It's with every next day. So it might be next week. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping it's actually gonna be turning up pretty soon. So then I can put my tree up because I feel, I don't feel Christmassy. I also ordered a Christmas phone case from Coconut Lane and he ordered it. In fact, when did I order it? So I got a notification on the 25th of November saying it's been dispatched. Mm, standard delivery is three to six working days. But anyway, I don't have a phone case yet either. I don't have a Christmas tree. I don't have a garland. <laughs> it's not going very well, but anyway. Yep, so today I'm just going to be, well, I've had my hair done this morning and I'm just going to be editing these videos. Hopefully I'll get Vlogmas week one up tonight. Um, and then, should we open some more of the Jouer Advent calendar? Okay, so we did up to day three, didn't we? Right, so let's do four, five and six. They're actually quite hard to get out when the other boxes are in there. Maybe it's just still got nails on. Okay, day four. It just feels so creamy, this. It's like really luxury. So day four is this little packet. Oh, we've got a lip cream in Dolce de Leche. Oh, that's cute. It's only a small one. Looks really nice though. Oh, my nails are awful, right? I put these on before the wedding, so it was Saturday when I put it on. And look at how much they've chipped already. See the edges? They just really don't last these ones. Right, number five. Number five is a little bit bigger. I keep reading what's on it before before I actually open it. Big product. And it's the Hydrate and Repair Moisture Mist 30 ml with blue light protection. Nice. I'm very impressed with this brand considering I've never tried anything from it before. Like all the products so far look really nice. Like the packaging's really premium. I'm just really impressed with them. Okay, and finally number six. Stop reading it. It's in bubble wrap and then in more tissue. Right past the parcel. And we've got a mirror. It's like a little compact mirror. Ooh, oh, that's so nice. It's very reflective. I don't know how to show you that. It doesn't look very shiny on the top. It's just a double mirror. That's really nice. I like that. Oh, that's so cute. Right, let's do number seven as well. So number seven, don't look at it. Didn't I didn't peek. Number seven is more bubble wrap. And it is a little reflective powder highlighter in the shade Ice. So really, really nice packaging. Oh, that's pretty. That looks really nice. It's definitely icy. It's got a little mirror on the top as well. So there we go. Right, I'm gonna go and walk Luna now. It's already dark, time's now 20 past six. But yeah, I need to take her for a quick walk. Um, and then I'm gonna get on with editing. I'm also gonna make like a Sunday dinner, even though it's Tuesday. Cause I really fancied a Sunday dinner, so I've got a chicken. Hi guys, so I'm just doing my makeup, getting ready to film the ASOS December unboxing. I thought I'd show you my eyeshadow because this is the one that I keep getting so many questions about. Um, loads of you saying, what eyeshadow are you wearing in the videos? And it's this one. So I just thought I'd show you and show you how easy it is to apply. So it's actually this little pot here. Ooh, focus, there we go. This was in the Cut Beauty Advent calendar last year. Uh, it's from Westman Atelier, Atel Atelier? Um, and it's called the iPod in the shade Tabac. And this is what it looks like. See, I have been using it. But that's what it looks like. So it's like a cream kind of shadow. Um, I just use a fluffy brush like this. The one I normally use has gone somewhere. Um, honestly, because we went away last weekend, my stuff's just everywhere. I haven't had time to pack to unpack and everything yet. 
um, to get everything away because we came back on the Monday night and then I was work. No, I got my hair done on the Tuesday, then I was working on the Wednesday. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I just take a brush like this and I just and I just kind of do this and get quite a lot on the brush. I will take it round as well. Um, it's hard to do that angle on the camera. Um, yeah, we just get quite a, quite a bit on my brush like that, and then I zoom you in. That is close enough. Um, yeah, okay, so it's on my brush. Just literally pop it on my lid like this. Obviously, I've got my foundation. I still powdered off my eyes as well, um, like this, and I just kind of press it and kind of drag slightly from the crease inwards because I want most of it to be on my lid and then blend it out slightly. This is what I do. Go sideways a little bit. Um, and then when I feel like most of it is off my brush and onto my lid, I then use the brush a little bit lighter and just kind of go around the edges to blend a little bit. Just make sure it's all blended. Might flick out a little bit as well. Very edge of the brush just to blend. So it's not like a harsh line. Like that. And then I just look in the mirror that's behind you. Looks okay from a distance. Looks okay here. Mm, doesn't look as good on the camera though here. And a bit more. There we go. Make sure the other side matches. Yeah, it's literally it, how easy it is and how simple. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of shimmer as well. So I'll take, I'll just use this Royal and Langnickel. It's actually a lip brush, synthetic pointed lip. Very small one. Um, and then I'm just going to use, it's too zoomed in though, isn't it? Um, Galaxy from the Huda Beauty palette, which is this one. Pop a little bit on my brush. It's very like, bitty this one. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to pop this here like this. Just kind of pat it in a little bit and and blend it out. And then just take a little bit under the eye as well. Just like this. And that is like the top bit of my eyeshadow. I'll do the underneath as well. For the under my lash line, I've been really liking this Bobbi Brown Smoky Eyeliner Pencil. Pencil? Brush. Um, that we got in the Bobbi Brown um, box from Look Fantastic. I'm just actually going to use um, on the bottom here, Karma. It's kind of browny kind of shade, orangey, peachy brown. I'm just gonna put it underneath like this. It's a little bit pinkier, a little bit warmer, so I'll just put a little bit on. Like that. And then blend with any brush, a fluffy brush. So yeah, that's my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna finish my makeup now, and you'll see my finished makeup look in the ASOS December unboxing. Um, also I'll put some nails on. How cute are they? They're elegant touch nails, which means they, because they're the patterned one, they'll only last like three days before breaking. But it's fine for now, and then in a few days' time, I'll just put on my actual Christmas ones, which will still be elegant touch, but the bare ones, and they just seem to last longer. So these clips here are when we actually went to Castle Howard in York, and um, this is me and my sister in the car, making the most of the viewfinder in the camera. Um, so they actually came to pick me up, and I just went with my sister and my parents. So yeah, we just drove over to York for the afternoon. We had like a, a set slot and it was like an hour or so. There's a wild dinner. <laughs> <That's laughs> spotted. <laughs> um, but the grounds were lovely, you could just have a wander around. Um, really nice grounds as you can see. It was so so cold though, it was gorgeous. Um, it's also Christmassy, I had some peacocks and it was just beautiful. So you had to walk, it was about 10 minutes to get into the actual building. The view was unreal though, it was so nice. Um, and inside the house was incredible itself. I mean, just look at how stunning it looks and it was all done up for Christmas. It was beautiful. Um, obviously, we took some pickies and yeah, def definitely got some inspiration here for next year's Christmas decorations. So this was like the grand entrance way. Um, so you had to walk up these stairs to get in. Um, and then you basically went into all different rooms and each room had a different theme, each room had a different Christmas tree inside and was all beautifully decorated um, and it was all of the different like fairy tale characters. This was us walking into one of the rooms. This one was like Sleeping Beauty, so there was Sleeping Beauty in the bed. Um, 
and it was just it was stunning the way it was done was just incredible and like the lighting um all the decorations were just stunning i just it was amazing i could have spent so long in there um but you just had it's like a one-way system as well you go through one room into the next room into the next this was like the grand hall and in here they had this huge christmas tree it was absolutely enormous um but i mean look at the detail on the ceiling as well it's just gorgeous so so beautiful i could literally spend so long in there all these ornaments as well on these trees and in the trees in every single room you could then buy um at the end when you came to the end of it so i did pick up a couple of decorations which we'll see shortly uh, this bit i thought this looked a bit like harry potter <laughs> so i just had to get a clip of this and they had a big mirror at the end there as well and um, this was like the nutcracker room with all the nutcrackers um this was like the tea party so all the little place settings as well had like hansel and gretel sleeping beauty and all like the characters from the other rooms it was just so pretty it just was stunning and like all of the trees and all the decorations were so so stunning like the attention to detail is just unreal really 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 pretty very Christmassy, very wintry. This was one of my favourites. This was Cinderella, as you can obviously tell. Um, and yeah, the fireplace and the decoration around the fireplace was so nice. Um, and yeah, then this was on the way back out. So you just kind of do a big loop and you can tour every room and it's just gorgeous. So guys, we finally have a tree. It finally arrived. Um, this arrived, I thought it actually arrived on Friday, but it was actually Saturday because it was the garland that arrived on the Friday. and. We kind of put some decorations in it last night. Um, we have it in our living room, but our living room isn't really a living room because we just have like random things like a piano in there. We have, I'm not gonna show you fully, but we have like a bench um, and gym stuff there as well because we just use it. Well, we never actually sat in here to watch TV. Um, very bad lighting. <laughs> yeah, we never actually sit in this room to watch TV or chill or anything. It's just, just a room. We're always upstairs, always in the office, always on my laptop, constantly doing content and stuff after work so yeah um but i still want a tree in here obviously and yeah we put this up last night the delivery for this company was absolutely shocking and um, but obviously it has arrived the garland has also arrived which is here in the box i'll plug it in in a minute to show you what it looks like and um, i'm gonna put that up the stairs but we need cable ties so i ordered cable ties from amazon last night but because it was like saturday night it was like midnight they're coming tomorrow monday so i'll be able to put it up tomorrow um, i'm doing something very exciting tomorrow I'm going to watch The Voice, the blind audition, which is very exciting. My sister arranged it. Um, I don't know how she got tickets, but she got some tickets. So I'm off to Manchester tomorrow evening to watch The Voice. I'm going to be in the same room as Will I Am and Tom Jones. How exciting. Um, but yeah, anyway, my tree. So here it is. I'm just going to plug it in and put it on. I don't know why, but all the lights look blue on the camera. Hmm. Anyway, this is the snowy one that I wanted. Um, but I'm not putting tinsel on it this year, so I need some more balls. It's just a bit bit bare and um, so I did pick some up today so today we actually went to Castle Howard I did put some I think I've inserted some clips and um, so you can see it was really really nice and I got a couple of baubles for the tree so I picked up these ones which are like little stars well not really little stars of my hand so I got four of these I just thought these were really cute um yeah I need like bigger ones really I need to tidy other wires as well but there we go um, and then I also picked up this one, which is really cute. Now I think Luna might try and steal this. But, but yeah, it's like a reindeer ballerina. It's just cute. So yeah, I picked that up. So I'm going to have to like put that like quite high on the tree so Luna doesn't steal it. It's just really cute. It was quite expensive, but it was so cute I just had to have it. So yeah, those two, I'm going to put on the tree now also got the outdoor wreath for my front door so i need to put that up but i'll do that tomorrow because it's dark and yeah i got this last year i can't actually remember where i bought it it was some random christmas website and it's just perfect it's just what i wanted um it's got lights in it and it's just a cute little snowy one so yeah that'll be done tomorrow so there we go i think they look really cute and um, i've also got these ones again these were from last year the pampas baubles um from a brand on instagram that i found these on there's an Instagram page which is really nice. But they're all different ones. That's another one that I picked. These ones, these ones are my all-time favourite. We actually picked these up at the Manchester Christmas Markets about five years ago. We got a pack of six. They're all slightly different. 
they're all glass. Um, there's another one. These two here. They're just so nice. Um, this we got in Glasgow in 2016. Uh, that was from Glossy Box. And this is Luna's little one. This is from a brand called the Crafty Giraffe, and my sister got that for Luna a few years ago. Oh, there's another one of those Pampas ones. So yeah, so I definitely need quite a lot more now. It's just looking a bit bare. And yeah, it needs a bit of a tidy, but I just want to get quickly up. We're finally up. I don't like that either, but it's up for now. I'd rather have a star. So I need to find a star. I've just popped her there on the side. It looks really blue on this camera. I don't know why. The white LEDs. Mm. Yeah, there we go. That's my tree at the moment. I told you these nails that weren't going to last long. Look at how it's like the pattern has come off. And then this one has just disappeared. I'm going to stick another one in there. Um, I am actually going to redo my nails in a couple of days. But for now I'll just stick another one on. That would have been so much easier if they were the right size. Okay, this one's too small but it's, it's, it'll do. These nails were cute but they just don't last and I'm, I'm over them. <laughs> this is going to look so weird because it doesn't actually match now but oh well. I've rediscovered this lipstick by the way. Um, I'll link it in the description. It's a really nice one. It's one that I got last year, year before. But yeah, look at that one as well. Like the actual patterns just wearing off, like the dots. And these have only been on, what, four days, I think? So the garland has arrived and it's literally the perfect length for all of the banister, which is just an actual fluke because when I measured it, I'm pretty sure that this end was meant to be like here so I would have had that bit of the banister empty but it's actually worked out pretty well and it's just perfect so I'm going to light it now how nice does that look? I'm obsessed, I love it so I've just actually attached it with um, cable ties so I need to cut these ends off because they're just kind of Hanging down, like that as you can see, so I just need to cut all these off, but yeah. And I also just remembered I didn't put my little Dior ornament on the tree. So it doesn't match my colour scheme, but it's going on my tree. So that was the box. So this is from the Dior advent calendar. And this is a little ornament. It is so nice. So it's like the same pattern on the front as on the box. Which is really cute. So I'm just gonna go and pop that on the tree, even though it doesn't match. So I'm just gonna pop it here. It's so nice. I actually love it, it's just so nice. Also, a few of you, when I was packing Luna's bag last in the last vlog, um, when we were going to Edinburgh, I obviously packed this little reindeer jumper and you wanted to see her wear it, so let's put it on. So here she is in a little reindeer outfit, a little hood as well. She was wearing it when I was doing the trees, so it's got a bit of snow on it. But doesn't she look so cute? She looks like squash me against the wall here. You get close enough, babes. You are close enough. Good girl. Good girl. Spin. Good girl, lie down. I'm gonna have a Christmas treat. Look at her, she knows. A treat, come on these. Oh, yummy. We like these, don't we? We like these. Look at that face. Oh, yummy. They smell so bad. Well, they just smell like bacon, but like doggy bacon. But she likes them, so that's all that matters. Was that nice? Do you like that? Is that nice? You're looking for another one. 
<laughs> you have another one in a bit, not just yet. Good deal. Good deal. But yes, I'm going to end today's vlog, or this week's vlog, uh, here. I like my earrings, by the way. That's little ones from a pretty little thing. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to end this vlog here. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed the clips of Castle Howard as well. It was really, really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm glad we went there. And yeah, I wish I could put some pictures or something from The Voice, but obviously we're not allowed to share that yet because it's not been on TV yet. But yeah, I'm excited to see when it is on TV. Oh, thing's gone. What are you doing? No, that's my camera. That's my camera. She's gonna sit right behind the camera here. <laughs> Little cutie bum. But yeah, so that was week two. I've not got many exciting things planned for week three, to be honest. Probably just wrapping some Christmas presents. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're in the camera. You're in the way. What are you doing? So yeah, week three is probably just going to be wrapping Christmas presents. <laughs> um, and yeah, just doing just general Christmas bits. But yeah, so that is everything for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please get a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Luna is looking forward to seeing you in the next vlog. Aren't you, baby? No, she's comfy and sniffing for treats. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon for another video.